Okay, let's uh, put the differential in. This is my custom made, homemade. Like I said, everything I've done is uh, all the machining's been done by myself. Uh, this is my differential I made. It's a prototype. I'm actually working on a newer one that will take the uh, Shimano Freehub uh, cassette style uh, gear set. This is an old school threaded freewheel, which is um, what I'm using to, to, to do the um, testing on. All right, let's put it in. Alright, the second most favorite game of this is cleaning everything up after paint and finding a tool. It seems like my tools always seem to wander off now. I have holes drilled here to, uh, to lock the bearings in. I have another bolt on each side here. So we'll just snug these up just for right now. Alright, we'll put the free wheel on. This is my uh, sliding drive shaft, or half shaft on each side. Because with the swing arm suspension, since it only has one pivot, when it moves up and down, the angle and the, and the length of your drive shaft changes. So we slide it in and out. It was something I did so I wouldn't have to have uh, a multiple U joints. Now this is the free hub, the free wheel adapter to take it off. I've actually machined it so that it will slide over this uh, my what I'm calling my CV joint. Before we do that, let me put some grease on it. All right, we got some grease on it. I don't want the threads to gall up because it is aluminum. I made it out of a 7075 aluminum. which is uh, stronger than 6061 but uh, can't be welded up or limited applications for welding so most of the, the, the aluminum that's welded is uh, 6061 and the high strength stuff which I figured needs high strength is 7075 aluminum now I drilled a hole in the, in the drift differential shell that you can put a tool and um, it locks it in place while you can tighten the free wheel and also serves as a, as a uh, lock to unlock the free wheel or unthread it I guess technically all right Let's take that out it won't go nowhere without that this is the right side uh, axle for the wheel. I got it machined for a key because it is front wheel drive, so you need a uh, some sort of locking mechanism to drive the front wheel. I got a U joint in here which I bought online, and uh, here's the U joint. And I have a, a rubber boot, um, and I got grease in there. It has needle bearings in there, so I'm trying to uh, keep the grease in there. Now I machined it down quite a bit because it, it would have been about this big. Um, all right. All right, have a uh, a little aluminum spacer and another boot to cover up the uh, opening here for the CV.
I'm just going to fill up some of this with this has already got some grease in there this CV joint thing as well as a, as a prototype In and out. All right. Have a keyway. A key, I guess. And a keyway, a machine, a keyway. Because these U joints, when I bought them, had a keyway slot already in them. I think the next uh, next tricycle I make, uh, the U joints I have doesn't have a slot for a key, has has a brooch for a key, but I think the uh, set screws will be, will be plenty. Because um, really, after my test rides, I'm not, I'm thinking this is probably pretty much uh, overkill anyway. What I'll do is I'll clean these up and, uh, and, and lock tight them in uh, afterwards. Just want to just want to show you these are uh, five thousandths shims, so there's ten thousandths of a shim there. The key. This is a uh, Bitec hub, and I got a 20. Uh, this is a uh, 20 inch rim, but it's the uh, metric size. It's a 451 size, and I have a one and one eighth Primo um, Comet uh, tire. And I think the next one, maybe I'll have uh, the one and three eighths, at least for the rear, and have one and one eighths uh, up front. Um, have it uh, made a uh, this is brake rotor, and then. This is my hub that I machined up. Uh, it's like a cap that uses the, the bolts. Plus, there's the keyway for the shaft. The next model this might might change a little bit. I have a nicely painted red cap with an eight millimeter bolt. Goes on like this. Voila. All right, let's do the other side. 